Hey, what's up guys? Hayden Hun here, back with another video, and we're actually going to do a redux of a previous video. Remember this video? Yeah, I look like an idiot as well as the backdrop isn't the greatest, but um, today we'll be talking about the Michael Jackson hat. So the Michael Jackson hat that I use is the Akuba Bogart Fedora. Now, this was the most steepest purchase I've ever made on a hat. I think I've said in the previous video, but I'll say in this video as well, this was $120. Now, now you're probably thinking, Hayden, that's a lot of money for a bloody hat. You are absolutely correct, and don't guilt me like this. But this hat I've owned for like four years, four to five years, and this can actually take a really good beating. It's made of rabbit fur felt. So that's obviously on a high grade in terms of quality as opposed to like wool or a polyester blend. But yep, a rabbit fur hat. Um, yes, the rabbits are killed humanely. For those who are wondering, yes, Peter and RSPCA, don't, don't go on my tail, please don't do that. So the hat looks like this from the front, looks like from the side, the back, and the other side. I don't know what my hands are doing. But before we continue on with the rest of the video, I'd like to tell you about my own freelancing business called Hayden Horn Media. Now, what is Hayden Horn Media? Hayden Horn Media is a freelance video production service. Based in Sydney, Australia, it was found by your boy Hayden Horn, and we make top quality video freelancing productions. If you check out our website, HaydenHornMedia.com, you get to see a wide range of portfolios of the videos that we make. We also do various projects such as short films, documentaries, anything and anything in between. Don't forget to check us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash HaydenHornMedia, as well as Instagram, Instagram.com slash HaydenHornMedia. Any support counts. Links will be in the description down below. If you're a supporter of the main Hayden Horn channel and you'd like to see more, please follow my business in the links down below. Any support is much appreciated, and let's get back into the video. The good thing about fedoras is it's a custom shape, and you can actually mold it to your style and tastes. A brief history about the fedoras, 1920s hat, uh, worn by gangsters and all those fancy people. But now fast forward, it's a symbol of classic gentleman attire, worn by Indiana Jones, Michael Jackson. This is not a fedora, I'm not a neckbeard, that's disgusting. Those type hats, the trilbies, are another subject, but I just hate, that's a pet peeve. I hate it when the trilbies are referenced as fedoras, and then fedoras get a bad rap in, in association with neckbeards, bronies, all that, so that's disgusting. I'm getting off topic. We're talking about the Michael Jackson fedora. So let's zoom in on the hat. So this is what the hat looks like. I've molded it so the top, so it's different. It's more teardrop bash, that's what they call it, teardrop bash. A little bit of a pinch here, got a nice bow there. Uh, the back I've made a much more angular tilt, so it's more sharper as well as the front, so it's much more of a jagged silhouette. So this is what the inside looks like. I have two liners for the hats. Uh, if you don't know what it is, a liner is this. This is silk liner, this is white silk, and the other one I've got in gold silk, which has the Akubra logo in the middle. It's very nice, it says Imperial Quality Real Rabbit Fur. Uh, my hat size is a size 60, so that means I have the head circumference of 60 centimeters. Take that for what you will, I could be really smart or really dumb. Also in here is a leather sweatband. It used to have the Akubra logo as well as, let's see if I can still read it, because it actually deteriorates with the amount of wear and the amount of sweat that you produce. It says made in Australia. It used to say Bogart on here, that's the name of the hat. On the other side is the Akuba logo. Would I recommend spending 120 bucks on a hat? I actually use this hat not only for my MJ performances, but I actually do wear this around town. I pair it with my suits, my uh, winter gear, as well as just even in summer if it's a bit hot. I would say yes, 120 bucks is worth it for the hat. The way how I say it is the cost per use. But if you're just simply using it for MJ performances, I rarely go for the AliExpress option. That's where I got my Smooth Criminal hat. Some MJ costume stores may have it. I haven't personally tried it, but I know a friend of mine did. He said that um, it was good quality. It was quite hard, stiff at first, but as you keep on using it, the wool begins to mold to your head. And you can also use steam, you know, just steam the brim as well as the crown to whatever styling or taste that you desire. So this is what it looks like on my head. Do a little bit of a twirl. You've seen what it looks like on my head. If not, just watch my Billie Jean performances. That gives you an idea. I just recently have a haircut, so I might look a little bit bold. But um, yeah, that's about it in terms of the video. Hope you enjoy, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch around. 